Welcome to another Sibelius lesson. This time we're going to briefly look at house styles. Now working with house styles is actually quite important because as any designer will tell you, if you're producing a body of work, it's imperative that that body of work is coherent from a design perspective and that all of the works within that collection of works share similar design attributes. In other words, you're going to want all of your scores to have a similar appearance. Now, when we work on a score, we're usually constantly changing various settings within that score. For example, we often change different layout settings, different font parameters, different symbols, different note heads, instruments, etc, etc. And exporting a house style will save all of these different settings for all of these different things so that you can then import all of these settings into a different score. And it's really quite easy to do. To export a house style with our score open, we just click export we give it a name and we're done. And I can now use these same score settings in a different document. To import a house style, so I'm first going to swap to a different score, we click house style import and then I can choose the house style I would like to import from the list here. There are many different default house styles to choose from. And among those default house styles, you can see that my new house style is also listed here. On the right hand side, we can choose what parameters of the house style should be imported to our score. And you'll see it's quite a comprehensive list. So it's good to think about exactly what it is that you want to import, because most of the time you probably won't necessarily want to import the exact engraving rules and document setup, for example, simply because different ensembles will require different staff sizes, page setups, etc. Now, when you're done tinkering and choosing what things you want to import, you then click OK, and you'll see that those various settings from the previous score have now been carried over to your current score. Now, as I mentioned earlier, from a design perspective, thinking about these sorts of things is very important if you're trying to establish yourself as a composer or engraver. And even publishing houses work in a very similar sort of way. If possible, they strive to keep their scores looking similar by using similar fonts and similar layout settings. In the past, whenever I've done any freelance work for publishing houses, they've often sent me a document with the required staff sizes, font types, font sizes, margin specifications, and so on. And this is all because regardless of who within the company is doing the typing, they want the finished scores to all have a very similar look and feel. So I would recommend setting up a couple of baseline house styles based on previous works and then using those house styles, those baseline house styles for all of your other works. And that way, from a design perspective, all of your works will appear coherent. So I hope this encourages you to start working with house styles and I'll see you again soon.